I was a gymnast from the age of like nine to 12, eight to 12. Um, and so I did it like recreationally for the first two years and then started like getting pretty competitive. But then during COVID and lockdown, obviously I couldn't train. So I was just running and doing like at home workouts with my mom and sister. And then I think it was like 2021, we were able to go back into the gym, but like my gymnastics gym, but I didn't really like it anymore. Like it wasn't, it didn't feel the same. I kind of lost the passion. And so I decided to transition into cheer and I did cheer for two years, but after the first year, I realized like it wasn't really for me and I didn't feel like it was enough. Like I felt like on the fitness side, which like I was just doing a lot of fitness and gymnastics, it was like lacking. And so uh, my mom does CrossFit and she was going to like a gym that's like a 10 minute walk away. And I came with her and started doing um, weightlifting because they had a weightlifting program there. And I was really good at it. And like I got good really fast. And then I think I did a competition within like a few months after joining. And then I went to provincials and won and went to like the Canadian nationals and came second. And then so I was kind of doing weightlifting and cheer for a year. And then I decided I was like done with cheer. I didn't like the makeup and the bow. It just wasn't for me. Um, And then I did like focus on weightlifting for a little bit, but then I got kind of bored. Um, just doing the same thing every day like again from gymnastics I was used to like more changing it up and so I decided to like twice a week do a CrossFit class with my mom and I was doing that for a few weeks and then this thing like the open when the coaches were like oh you should do this like it's a competition for fun everyone can do it so I think it was the night before I like signed logged in signed up and did my first open without training at all well, like other than like a CrossFit class once a week. And I loved it. I had so much fun, like just doing it with everyone, like all the different things. I did bar muscle ups, which were just kips. And I was like, whoa, this is like gymnastics, like weightlifting, cardio. I love it. And I made it to quarterfinals without even knowing. It's funny. I got the email and I thought it was junk mail. And then like I actually read it and I was like, oh, cool. And I didn't do very good. I think I came like a hundredth in quarterfinals. But after that, I had kind of left it for a little bit, did stuck to weightlifting. But then the following year in November, I was like, man, the open is coming up in two months. I want to train for it this year. I was like, I want to go to the next level. My goal was to go to semifinals. Um, and so starting November, I started training with Glenn. He was um a member at my gym and he would go and train every day at like 5 a.m and so I just jumped in with him and started training at 5 a.m every day and then after school and um that kind of got me until semifinals and then qualified for the games got a coach but that's what got me into CrossFit. Um, I mean, during COVID, so I was doing gymnastics and then obviously I couldn't really do any sort of gymnastics from home. We did have like a, what's it called? Like a tumble track that we put in the backyard and we'd step on that. But I was doing like 5k runs every day, which is why, I mean, I'm a pretty good runner now. Um, so yeah, I ran every day and we had some dumbbells and I just did some like online things with my mom, but it was more about it wasn't really like didn't really have a goal it was more just about like staying fit and active so and just getting out of the house so that's pretty much it um i think it was gymnastics and cheer gave me a very good baseline especially gymnastics like i came into crossfit really strong had a really good body awareness i knew how to like go into the gym, work hard, work for a long time, I knew how to push myself. And I was always like good at competing. I had competition experience. I think some things that were like different and like I still find a little difficult are like the machines, some like things that like in gymnastics, you don't really use 
um your legs or like in like dead your legs and back so like deadlifts i'm not great at um and my coordination is horrible so like wall balls i struggle with i'm also really short but there's things like handstand walking, like bar muscle-ups, that they came so natural to me. So I'm really glad I started with gymnastics. I think like it would have been so much harder to like pick up things, even like snatching. I just knew what I was doing. Like it was very easy for me to pick up cues and alter. Like if someone told me something, my body awareness like made it easy for me to pick up the correction. So. Okay, so right now after the games, I'm like kind of taking a bit of time off and doing classes, but I'll say usually, um, for the most part, I will wake up at around like 6, 6.30, and then I'll go to the gym and do my first session that's around an hour and a half. And then my first session is usually like cardio, like rowing, shoulder runs, like I'd get like the hard stuff out of the way, or just like the annoying stuff. So like, just zone two, zone three. Um, and then I'll change quickly and like run to school. My school is a 10 minute walk from my gym. So I'll like finish at like 8.30 and just like run to school. And then I have school from nine to two. So I'll do that. And then usually at two, I'll walk back to the gym and then I'll train from like 2.30 to like 5.30. And I'll have to do my weightlifting, my Metcons, my like a billion accessories. And then at 5.30 when I'm done, I'll like lay on the ground for a good like 20 minutes. And then I'll start walking home. And then, yeah. Okay, so when I first started CrossFit my first year, I worked with M2 Nutrition and I tracked my macros. I had a plan and it was good. I It was fine. But after the games, I had like stopped and just to take a little break. And then going into this season, I decided like I was just going to try eating as much as possible because I'm pretty small compared to my field. And I was like, the goal is just eat as much as I can. So prioritize protein, get enough carbs, but just eat. And so I didn't track macros this season, but I do feel like my nutrition was a little sloppy because of it. Like I feel like some days I really did eat a lot, some days kind of off, and then some days probably the quality of food or like types of macros I got weren't great because I didn't exactly know the numbers. So I think going into this season, I'm going to loosely track. I'm going to, I don't know if I'll work with someone. I'm thinking about it. You just having like an idea or a number or like frame to follow, but I definitely think I'm going to meet somewhere in the middle, like prioritize eating a lot and like eating protein, but also maybe having like a number to kind of go for and like estimate. cheat meal i don't think cheat meal person like if i want something i'll just eat it that's i feel like that's healthier mentally at least but oh i love sushi like i can go and eat like five rolls of sushi and i'm in vancouver so we, like canada we have really good sushi um i love thai food i could be thai food all day um like the pad thai noodles my curry and there's a place called body energy club we have one like 25 minutes away from my house and it's so good like they make these like protein smoothies and like smoothie bowls and it's like tastes like ice cream and it, it's like I don't know a smoothie and it has granola and fruit and I love them so much also any baked good any baked good I like especially a vegan baked good I was vegan for three years so any vegan baked good is Balancing school, I feel like, I mean, this year is pretty hard because I'm going into grade 11 and I'm taking some grade 12 courses. I'm taking chemistry 12, like pre-calc 11, physics 11, and socials 12. And they have a lot more homework and like work work than like my previous classes have. So definitely going to be a little bit harder to balance. But I think for me, at least, because I'm busy, 
it actually like makes me do better. Like when I, during COVID, it was super hard for me to get like anything done because I was just at home all the time and I'd go on my phone and go eat something and procrastinate. But I think when I'm like going to the gym, going to school, going to the gym, and I have like one hour before I have to go to bed, like I'm gonna just like put my phone away and do my homework. So I think in that sense, it kind of helps me. Um, but definitely sometimes it's tight. Like if I have a lot of tests, like I have to, usually I prioritize CrossFit, but there's certain weeks where like, I have to prioritize certain class and like maybe cut my training a little bit early to, I don't know, cram in some studying. Friends, I mean, my school friends are really supportive. And I mean, they don't, they're not as, most of them are as athletic as me. So they don't, I wouldn't say they understand, but they do definitely like give me my room to do my stuff and work around me. So like, if we're going to hang out, they know like we're going to hang out on a Sunday and the rest of the week, usually I'm not too much hangout like I stick to my routine but I definitely like have a bunch of CrossFit girls online who I'll message throughout the week and it's almost like they're with me and then um at school I'll see my friends because I go to a public school okay I have a few at Wadapalooza in January I had my first event win and it was an event that like I had like two weakness movements in and like when I had practiced it like I was pretty worried about it and then I won it um and it was super awesome my coach Michelle was like in the stands my dad and Glenn were in the stands and my family was watching on the live stream and I don't know it was super surreal and then this year too like oh my gosh I PR'd my clean and jerk at 185 in the fourth event I think at the games and that was super cool I had so much fun Ooh, okay so my ultimate goal is like elite I want to go like the elite games I think as an individual like that would be so cool I think that's what like all this work is for the team division is so much fun and I'm like loving it meeting all these people but I think it's more about just practice and getting my name out there and just seeing how it's gonna be but my eyes are set on like being on the big stage with the elites for sure I wasn't sure when I first started I was like oh maybe but now that I'm like full in CrossFit and like fully in the CrossFit world like I watch all the elites I follow them all I'm like fully in my teen division but like I definitely just know I love it. Like, and I know that it's like, this is the beginning. I definitely have like a bigger aim. Okay, in the sport, I definitely look up to Emma Lawson because she's Canadian and she started as a teen and made her way up to individual. She went to individual like really quickly, but even the fact that she went up, it just shows me it's possible. Um, and so I definitely look up to her. I also look up to Ariel Lowen and Annie Thor's daughter because they both had kids. They both had to like overcome challenges, got like, back into the sport. And they're always like, I feel like no matter what happens, if it goes their way or not, they're always so positive and like they're fun to watch. And that's always like what I hope to be. Like I want to do the best I can and obviously get good results, but I want to know I'm having fun and just being a happy person and fun to be around. Um, outside the sport, my mom inspires me a lot, and so does my dad. I have a really good family. Um, my little sister inspires me. She's um, a dancer, and she goes to like, the National Ballet School of Canada, and she like she's 12 and lives in a different province, um, playing right away, and I think I'm super proud of her. She inspires me a lot. Um, I think you just take it a day at a time. I think people, like, obviously it's good to set a big goal, and I think you should totally do it. Like, set a goal, give yourself something to strive for, but then once you do that, like, just take it a day at a time. Like, focus on every day at the gym. Like, do the best thing you can. Set a goal, like, today I want to push myself a little bit more on this. Today I want to hit this weight. And just day by day, like, will make a difference. Sometimes if you focus too much on the big picture, it can kind of demotivate you, discourage you. 
And I'd also say to just remember to have fun because, I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Like, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, like, you're not going to do it for a long time. So just mix in ways to make sure you keep liking it. Like, for me, once in a while, I'll do a class or I'll get, like, someone to come train with me. Just make sure that you're still having fun and just, yeah, believe in yourself. Definitely, like, I know that, I mean, I go to public school, so the guys who are like, oh, like, how much do you bench and just stuff like that. Um, and I've gotten a lot of comments, like, unasked for, just like, or like stares or people being like, like, what sport do you do? Actually, I think I was at the sauna one time and someone was like, you don't look very feminine. <laughs> okay thanks um, but I mean I like my body and I know I work hard for it so I don't really care what other people think like I think if I care more about what I can do and how I feel and if I feel good about my body and if I'm I don't know feeling myself enough for training and all that I don't really care what somebody else thinks of it and I think it's pretty cool I think it's pretty cool